Hi there, my name is Brenna Johnston and my presentation is on Julie S. Vargas. Before I begin though, I'd just like to apologize. I've been out of state and on the road for the past week with the availability of Wi-Fi at random, so I haven't been able to create a fancy presentation, but I plan on creating a full PowerPoint presentation for the final presentation, so it's not just me speaking. Um, the behaviorist I chose to research is Julie S. Vargas, who is a renowned author and educator. What stands out the most about her, though, is that she is the daughter of B.F. Skinner, the founder of Applied Behavior Analysis, whose book about behaviorism we read on a daily basis. Um, Julie Vargas, known as Dr. Vargas, following her PhD in education research from the University of Pittsburgh, taught at West Virginia University for 30 years um, in the College of Human Resources and Education. She dedicated much of her life's work to furthering the work of her father and became a pioneer for behavior analysis. She was the founding editor of the journal The Behavior Analyst, as well as the former president of the Association for Behavior Analysis International. Dr. Vargas is currently the president of the B.F. Skinner Foundation located in Cambridge, Massachusetts. She's also an established author, best known for her book, Behavior Analysis for Effective Teaching, uh, which was published in 2009. The literature, the literature I chose to include in the behaviorist biography were all literature in which Dr. Vargas was the author or co-author um, and dealt with the life and death of her father, behavioral contingencies, and behavior analysis and behavior in regard to instruction. Uh, as previously stated, Dr. Vargas's most accomplished published work was Behavior Analysis for Effective Teaching. In this book, she provides techniques in the application and employment of non-aversive behavior analysis principles within school and classroom settings. The target audience of this book are the students in the graduate and undergraduate levels in the fields of education, special education, applied behavior analysis, and related fields. The book also includes up-to-date research which addresses Skinner's verbal behavior and operant conditioning, as well as precision teaching, a new teaching technique based almost entirely on Skinner's work. In 2003, the European Journal of Behavior Analysis published an article by Vargas titled Precision Teaching and Skinner's Legacy. Another form of instruction Vargas tackled within a published article is programmed instruction, which she explains its concept and effectiveness in the article Programmed Instruction, what it is and how to do it within the Journal of Behavioral Education in 1991. In 1998, Vargas was one of four authors who wrote Educational Problems for the 21st Century, which was published in Contemporary Education. This article was one of a three-part series that addressed major problems within education, um, focusing on the purpose of schooling, like what ought to be taught, what ought not be taught, and uh, to what extent subjects and topics should be taught. Uh, these were three of the five works by Julie Vargas that I previously read and summarized. Uh, the next and last two focus more on her father, B.F. Skinner, and his work. Um, in the article, The Last Few Days, Vargas recounts the months and days leading up to Skinner's death due to leukemia. This was a great article because it not only displays the relationship they had as father and daughter, but it describes Skinner's work ethic and how, though battling leukemia and on his deathbed, Skinner continued to work and further contribute to the field of psychology and behavior analysis. Um, the, final, the final article by Vargas that I found uh, imperative was her article published in 2004 in European Journal of Behavior Analysis. Um, titled Contingencies over B.F. Skinner's Discovery of Contingencies. Within this article, we learn about how and why Skinner developed the theory of behaviorism, focusing on how contingencies play a role in determining behavior. We know that Skinner left us with an extensive amount of information, 
studies and examples that showed the relationship between contingencies and behavior. What the article seeks to explain is what led Skinner to believe this and designate his life's work to proving this theory. Um, in my mock interview with Dr. Vargas, I would ask her questions regarding her personal life as well as her work and accomplishments, which I'm genuinely curious about. I would ask her the following. Uh, one, what was it like growing up with Skinner as your father? Do you think your father raised you differently than your friend's parents because of his work? How and why? Two, of all of your life's work and accomplishments, of which are you most proud of? Three, if you could, would you go back and change any of your past work? Has your interest and or faith in the topics changed since publication? And four, um, I see you're pursuing music education. When and why did you choose to pursue behavior analysis? Are you still involved in music education? Uh, Julie Vargas has proved to be very successful within the field of applied behavior analysis. Her work within the field was important and successful enough to have landed her the positions of president uh, of the Association for Behavior Analysis International, uh, a founding editor of the Behavior Analyst, and currently the president of the B.F. Skinner Foundation. Her work has had a very positive impact on behavior analytic practice and instruction. In a review published by Behavior Analysis and Practice, of her book, Behavior Analysis for Effective Teaching, she is praised for her contributions to the field of education. The, author, the authors describe this text as influential. Uh, she is praised, well, while other textbooks describe behavior analytic techniques designed specifically for the classroom environment, Vargas discusses this in conjunction with comprehensive overviews of the instructional and behavioral strategies from the teacher's perspective. Um, Vargas also gives back to her community. She created the Julie Vargas Award for Completed Graduate Student Research uh, in California. Two awards are provided each year with the intention of promoting Skinnerian science, uh, supporting research efforts, and improving the overall quality of ABA research. Uh, that includes my presentation on Julie S. Vargas. I hope it was informative, and I hope to create the PowerPoint presentation as soon as I arrive home Tuesday evening. Thank you. I look forward to your feedback.